So now we present to you Rosé, the official wine of summer. So there you go. But Rosé, in addition to being the official wine of summer, it is also a very misunderstood wine. Most Rosé is dry, not sweet. More and more people are getting that, but there's still a huge percentage of folks that confuse uh, rosé with white Zinfandel and just assume that if it's rosé, it's going to taste like a white Zinfandel. Just as a little background, white Zinfandel was invented in the 1970s by Sutter Home by mistake. They were making, uh, they were trying to make a dry rosé wine with Zinfandel when the fermentation stopped, which means the sugar wasn't being converted into alcohol anymore. Instead of trying to restart the fermentation, they bottled it and put it in their tasting room to see what people thought, and people absolutely loved it. By 1987, Sutter Home White Zinfandel was the top selling wine in the country. So there you go. I remember uh, I got promoted and my new boss took me out to an Italian restaurant and he ordered up a bottle of White Zinfandel and I thought I was like, uh, I thought it was Nelson Rockefeller or something. I thought I was really styling or something. So during that period of time, it was unbelievably popular. Um, and because of that, a lot of people won't drink rosé because they think it is sweet. And it is 98% of rosé is dry, but a lot of people think it is sweet. Something else interesting about rosé and wine in general is wine gets its color from its skin, the skins. It does not get it from the juice of the grape. With white wine, there is absolutely no skin contact. They squeeze the grapes throw out the skins. With red wine, it's similar to what you see pictured here. It gets extended skin contact. They'll squeeze the grapes and mix, mix the, uh, the skins in with the grapes for you know, weeks, you know, several days, weeks, so that the grapes can get a lot of the color and a lot of the flavor from the skin. So that's what makes red wines red wines. And with rosé, um, rosé is made from the exact same grapes that make red wines because you need the red skin to make the rosé. But instead of uh, having the, the uh, skins mixed in with the juice for, for weeks, it might only be for hours, it might only be for a day or two. So you get some of the flavor and some of the color, so you create a completely different wine. Um, that, that's, most rosés are made through limited skin contact, but there is other ways to make rosé. Um, you can simply, you know, blend red and white wines together to come up with a rosé. It's not allowed in Europe, except for some champagnes, they allow champagne to do it. And an, an interesting way is the, is the sangue or the, the blood method. You're making a batch of red wine, and after a, a day or two or a few hours, you'll bleed off some of that juice that hasn't totally absorbed the color. And you'll use that juice that you bleed off to make the rosé. But you still have this, uh, the, the, the vat of juice and skins sitting there. And what happens is it makes the red wine you make from using that method richer, more tannic. You get more, you get a higher skin to juice ratio, so you're gonna make a bigger wine. So it serves two purposes. It makes a more interesting red wine and it also makes a rosé wine. So the, the, the blood method uh, serves two purposes. You, also, when you look at a bottle of rosé, you can tell a lot by the color. The, the lighter the color, um, it, if it's really light, it's, it's light body, crisp, probably lower tannin. But by the time you get to the, uh, there's some rosés, you have to look at them twice to make sure they're not a red wine. They're going to be fuller bodied, uh, fruitier, they're going to have a little less acidity, and they're going to have a little more tannin. So as you, as you go through the, uh, the rosé aisle, you can tell just by looking at the, the color, you can tell a lot about how that rosé is going to taste. So the is, the, is the table wine um, Grenache? I'm sorry? Tavel, Rosé, uh, from, from Paso? Tavel. 
France. Oh, Tavel. Yeah, I'm sorry. Tavel is Tavel is going to be Gr Grenache, uh, since so it's going to be the Rhone. It's going to be that whole Rhone mix of grapes that are in there. They're generally blends. They're generally not uh, single grapes. Just like most Rhone wines, they're going to be blends of all of the red Rhone grapes. Um, rosé is worldwide. Any place that they make red wine, they're going to make a rosé. Southern France is a leader, but it's growing in popularity and they're made everywhere. I remember I, uh, after I retired and I started at Total Wine, they had one rack of rosé. By the time uh, I left a year and a half ago, they had four or five racks of rosé. It's just gotten tremendously popular.